Rebound to Monica Wright in transition right to left. Here's Wright exploding to the rim with the left hand and the layup good off the window with the right hand from the baseline. So here's Moore on the left wing and she'll give it to Chelsea Shine at the top of the circle. Chelsea driving down the lane with the left hand and laid it in. I didn't feel like we had very much energy to start the game. I felt like we were a little tired. Uh, that first segment, we looked like we got a little gassed to start the game, which indicated to me that we were just, sometimes the travel will wear on a young team, and I think it really wore on us a little bit. The swords on the right block, and that's too easy. The circle, and give it to Murphy, deep in the lane against Egwu. Missed the layup, pretty good straight up defense from Egwu, the ball knocked out of bounds by Ayla Brown. I was really pleased with Simone's play tonight. She did a great job defensively for us, and she stayed in front. She just did a great job on a very, very talented and big player inside for Boston College. And, um, Carolyn Swords is one of the best players in our league, and she just did an awesome job. She got her into foul trouble, and I thought all our players did a good job of just helping each other and finding a way to get it done. The runner is blocked partially by Shine, and the rebound to Moore. Here's Ari right to left in transition, inside-out dribble. Kicks it left baseline to Shine for a 17-foot jumper. Nothing but nylon for Chelsea. So right here on the right wing in the corner. She'll lob to McCall on the baseline, and she'll give it back to Monica, driving with the left hand. Got down the lane and laid it in with the right hand. It's a pretty move for Monica. She's got 12 in the game. They go left wing to right again, exposed on the left baseline and laid it in easily. My goodness. Timeout, Sylvia called They were a team that, you know, had a little trouble guarding us in penetration, but um, <clears throat> all together we definitely need to get um, stop, consecutive stops and then easy buckets like layups or whatever. So that was our main goal coming out uh, of the second, coming out of locker room for the second half. We did a pretty good job doing that. Rebound to Moore. Cavaliers have an advantage. A three on two with Moore. Feeding Gerson right side of the lane. Gives it to Wright who lays it in on the left baseline. A nice feed from Lexi. Brown who wants the three. Top of the key. No good. And Murphy rips it out of the air and lays it in on the right baseline. Monica Wright. Wright pulls it out of the air and wants to run. Here's Monica in transition. Wright down the left side of the floor. Layup good as she floats past the defense coast to coast. It was a phenomenal performance and it's it's that's what all American do. She saw her team wasn't at its best tonight and she just really stepped up and she was constantly talking to them in tuttles and timeouts. She was constantly leading this group and I couldn't be more proud of her. Top of the key, Johnson driving, threw up a wild shot and banked it in. With 15.7, Virginia will have the basketball with a chance to win. I noticed it was 14 seconds left on the clock. Enough time for me to, you know, kind of take my time going up the court, but not take, you know, too much time. With five, Kellum crossing over. With four, with three, jump shot. Yes! Yes! Oh, Kellum from 10 feet away with 2.3. With one, Johnson's desperation, he no good, and Virginia wins. I just took the girl to the basket uh, and made the shot.